Thank you for joining us. We're, we're here kind of doing a wrap up of, of things we learned from our trip across country. One of the first things we wanted to talk about in this episode is how much energy we used on the trip and how much energy would have been used by a comparable SUV. So if we choose like a high-end Lexus um, seven-seater seven seater car SUV. It's like a crossover. That gets like 20 miles to the gallon, yep. which is about as best as you can hope for in, mm -hmm. a, in a car that size. Um, we figured out we drove uh, 8,243 miles. Um, so if this car got 20 miles to the gallon and was a regular gas burning car, we would have used 410 gallons of gasoline. Wow, that's like the size of a, of a backyard swimming pool. Yeah, that's wow. a lot of gasoline. Um, that amount of gasoline at today's prices of $2.20 a gallon would have cost $910. That's expensive. Yeah. So for our trip, we could have stayed at hotel after hotel, had meals like that would have paid for many, many days of, of lodging and meals. Wow. Uh, in fact, it did. Uh, That's we saved amazing. That um, just another interesting fact here is that um, we got to use all the electricity on the trip for free. Thank you, Tesla. That is part of the supercharger network. When right. you buy a Model S or a Model X, um, you are you've got free supercharging for life. So, so that how was, many kilowatts is that? That we used a total of two thousand eight hundred and eighty-two kilowatt hours of electricity. So two point eight megawatt hours of electricity. Yep. That if we pay for it ourselves, so if we plugged into our house to get that electricity at fourteen cents a kilowatt hour, yeah, would have cost us less than half of what we would have spent in gas. It would have cost us $403. Wow, but well, we didn't even spend that. We didn't spend anything. Wow. It was completely free. That's awesome. Um, the entire trip was completely free. So um, that's pretty amazing to wrap your head around that we just drove over 8,000 miles. We went the entire country and back for free. Right. We didn't use any, we didn't burn any emissions because the electricity comes from solar. So we burned 410, gallons of gas if we were driving a gas SUV. So that's like say. the size of a of a swimming pool that you put in your backyard. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, what happens when you light that all on fire? Good question. You put a lot of things into the atmosphere. Now, this is putting it through an engine which supposedly cleans a lot of stuff out of it, but you're still gonna put, uh, let's see here, over 19 pounds of CO2 per gallon into the atmosphere. So that would be a total of 8,000 pounds or four tons, like four tons of CO2 that you put into the atmosphere. Oh that my gosh. Comes out the tailpipe. Not to mention a lot of other nasty things like sulfur dioxide, benzene, all sorts of particulate matters yeah. that can't be trapped that go out to the atmosphere. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Now You Know. Um, check out some of our other videos. We have a few from before we left on our trip and we have plenty from our trip. Yeah, check so, out that one. Remember that one? I don't know. That one's from a while ago. How I mean, I remember this one. Oh, you remember that? Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. This one was good. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. I'm in that one. And check out this one over here. Oh, wow. And also this one. We have a, wow, that's a lot. That is a lot of videos. You oh. should check. You should check them out.